If we want our children to succeed in life, we need fathers to step up. We need fathers to understand that their work doesn't end with conception. What truly makes a man a father is the ability to raise a child. Now, what a deadbeat dad is to me would be that guy who uh, participated in birthing a child and then leaves. So, whereas the kid doesn't ever hear from their father, doesn't know where he is, almost doesn't know if he's living. People who are married, when you marry, you can always get divorced and you separate. You don't have to see the other person anymore. But when you have kids, that's forever, no matter what. For, it's forever. Moms always assume that just because they're the mom, that they're gonna have custody. Because the dads rarely ever fight. For me, my son was, once everything went south, the focus became on my son. I told my son just this morning, I, I asked him, what is, a, what is the definition of a man? And he, and he told me that a man has a job, he pays his bills, and he has a car. Now, you have a daughter, right? Yeah, I have several how, daughters. Yeah. How old is she? Well, my oldest is 18, okay. and uh, my youngest is 11, and I have two more kids, uh, girls, by my wife. Okay, so awesome. I have four girls all together. Yeah. Oh, awesome, man. And I was looking at statistics and saying, you know, 80% of African-American kids will spend some of their lifetime without their fathers, and only half of other ethnicities spend their lifetime without their fathers. And I'm thinking, that's a huge number, so somebody has to do something about this. It's a very, very, very common pattern that the father um, really doesn't want to participate very much in the, uh, the upbringing of the, of the child. It's my daughter right here. It's my pride and joy, my everything. Everything worth living for is right next to me. And God is good. My name is Daryl McMillan, and I am a single father. I like to say that there are a lot of good single fathers out there. Um, they're often overlooked because of the ones that don't take care of their responsibilities. The problem is there's not enough attention paid to those of us who are raising our kids from a split household standpoint and do have primary physical custody school year and doing the things that need to be done to make sure that our little boys and our little girls are put on the right track from, the, from jump. You gotta think before you think about just making sure you're all right. You gotta think about, what am I doing to my child? You know, I, having my son's picture everywhere I go constantly reminds me, this is what you do it for. This is why you work hard. This is why you build your business. This is why you don't quit. Fathers are our first teachers and coaches. They're our mentors, they're our role models. They set an example of success and they push us to succeed. They encourage us when we're struggling. They love us even when we disappoint them and they stand by us when nobody else will. You have every opportunity in the world to restart your career. You have the opportunity to make more money again. You have the opportunity to do this, to do that. You got one shot to raise your kids, one. And you got one shot to get it right. try and um, break the cycle of uh, fathers not taking care of their kids. Uh, but in the end, it's not about being perfect. It's not always about succeeding, uh, but it's about always trying. And that's something everybody can do. Well, I'm looking at the ways to make myself a better dad and make my kid a better kid, <laughs> you know, so. And letting your kids know, not just with words, 
but with deeds that you love them and that you're always uh, they're always your first priority.